is up for everybody. What it do, what it do. So y'all check this out, man. So yesterday, I'm at the grocery store, right? And, I, you know, when I first went in, I didn't see this kid at all. I didn't even see him or anything. I didn't even walk right past him or nothing. So as I'm coming out the grocery store, you know, this kid asked me, he's like, hey, man, do you got a few dollars, man? I could get something to eat, man. I haven't, I haven't ate in days. So, you know, me being a nice person, so I give him 20 bucks in my pocket. I was like, man, hey, go on and get what you need to get. So he asked me a question. He asked me, he said, how do you keep going on with life when all the loved ones that you love always keep dying around you? And I had told him, I said, man, sometimes the best thing to do is just to keep your head up, man, and just keep pushing. Just keep your head up and keep pushing. Don't give up on nothing. Don't give up on anything. Don't give up on life itself. Life can be very unfair. It can be very unfair sometimes. It really can. But like I told him, you have to be the one to change it. You have to be the one to change that. You know, and ever since, ever since I heard, ever since I heard that that conversation and that question that he asked me. Man, it's been on my head, it's been on my brain ever since. Ever since and I kept asking myself, did I tell him the right question? I mean, did I tell him the right answer? So I'm pretty sure I did. And those was my words, man, is to keep your head up, stay focused, and just keep moving forward. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. Death may seem like it's out for everybody. Sometimes it is, but then sometimes there are some that get spared. The foulest smell I ever smelled before was at this farm when I was a ground man. So me and Aaron, we got sent out to this farm to go crush. It was a chicken farm slash, uh, I would say salvage yard, you might well say. So we go out there to go crush and everything. So it's these three Pacific cars just sitting out in the middle by themselves. I mean, just just by themselves out of nowhere. There's there's no other cars beside it. There's nothing besides it. Just in the big old field. So I go out there to inspect the cars. You know what I'm saying? Make sure there's nothing in them and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm working. I'm making my way out there. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I just all of a sudden I get hit with this awful smell. I mean, I get hit hard with this awful smell. I'm like, God. What is that, man? So, you know, I'm not knowing that it's coming from the cars. So, as I get closer and closer, I'm, look, I'm looking and I'm starting to see, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of little things just flying around. So, to me, I'm thinking that they're bees. But they're not. They're, they're flies. Horse flies. All kind of flies, man. All different kind of colors you can think of. It's all just flying around. So, as I, you know, so, so as I get closer... I'm starting to see more and more and more and more flies to where it's just like, man, it's just like, it looked like a big old black ball of just flies just flying around. So, I get up to it. I can't see what's on the inside because, you know, I'm saying the, the, uh, the windows are tinted. So, I can't really just see. So, what I do was, I open up the door. And as I open up the door, I get hit with, like, 10,000 flies just hit me right in my face. It's like, brrr, I'm like, man, what the hell? So, and so as I, you know, says, so, so as the flies come all out, as they start coming all out, so I, I'm looking at this blanket that's covering up the front seat and it's covering up the back seat. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, man, what is up in this blanket here? What is up under here? So I end up moving the blanket, y'all. Oh, man. It was nothing but just bloated, bloated chickens. This, oh man, I mean, they just, man, they, I mean, they look like a bunch of damn, just a bunch of skinless basketballs, what they look like. Just a bunch of skinless basketballs just laying right there. And then, um, so I, 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 see, I, I see the ones there in the back, right? So I see all those. So I move the two front seats. The two front, I mean, the two blankets off the front seat, man, had to be like over maybe, probably over like a hundred chicken heads just sitting, 
in the front seat, covered up. Flies, maggots. I mean, the smell is so awful, y'all. I mean, it would just... Not only will it make you gag, but it, it, it's like it would just literally just make you pass out. I mean, just literally pass out. And you're like, what is that? Why? Why did they do that, man? Why? Don't they know, man, that stuff right there is going to be foul as hell? And I was like, oh, man, that is so gross and nasty. I mean, it was like all kind of green stuff seeping from the seats and stuff. Just all kind of stuff that's seeping out, man. I was like, this is nasty. So, so I tried to, so, so I, I tried to uh, be funny about it. So I told Aaron, I said, Aaron, I said, come over here, man. Like, boy, what is it, man? What the hell do you want? I'm trying to, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get everything ready. I said, man, come over here to these cars, man. Bring the load of witch and come to these cars. He was like, all right, here I come, here I come. Holly. So I said, I said, so I said, Aaron. I said, man, do you know anything about these three cars sitting out here? He was like, no, he ain't saying nothing about it. So I said, man, open up that front door, Aaron. Open up the front door. Well, actually, not the front door, the back door. Sorry, y'all. So I told him to open up the back door. My hand. He opened up the back door. As soon as he opened up, man, he just threw up instantly. I mean, just instantly threw up. And I was like, Oh my God! Seeing this dude right here throw up, and then smelling that smell, damn near made me throw up too, y'all. Damn near made me throw up, man. That, that right there, that right there was the most fouling smell ever, man. To even imagine, to even imagine. I mean, it smells, it, it smells ten times worse than death itself. Death can really fucking stink. Excuse my language, y'all. But death can really stink. I mean, it can really smell really, really bad. I mean, shh. Whew, wee, man. I'm like, oh, man. Y'all have to excuse the cuss word, y'all. I'm just, I, I'm just me being myself, man. I'm just me being myself. That's just how sometimes I express my words sometimes. I mean, hey, we all do it sometimes. I mean, it slips out, you know. This is my first time, you know, just actually just cussing, cussing like this. I kind of stopped doing it a while back. But man, yeah, that was the most foulest smell ever I ever smelled. Besides the, um, besides the mobile home. Besides that. But, you know, there has been times where, you know, I used to work at Al Picky Park before I actually started in the crushing business. So I was actually working at this, you know, Sandy's junkyard then. I was a, a forklift driver then at that time. You know, I, I was doing the same thing. I was doing the same thing Mario was doing right here. I was doing the exact same stuff he was doing. You know, processing the uh, cars, getting the cars ready to go out there in the uh, out there in the yard and stuff like that. But man, over the years of you know being in this business right here, before I actually got into the crushing crushing business. I mean, there's still things that, I mean, there's still things in cars that you still end up finding, even though you're not the crusher. And see, at that time there, about that time right there, Aaron, he was the loader driver. See, like I said, I was still the ground man. So, you know, I didn't really just know too much, too much about the crushing then, back like then. Didn't just really know that much about it, you know. But, hey, we all, we, we all learn one way or another. We all learn. But yeah, that, I mean, like I say, man, y'all, some of this stuff, y'all be having some of the most unbelievable, violent smell that ever known to man. That anybody could just, and be like, why? Why did they do that? I mean, that was some of the most foulest, grossest stuff I ever seen in that, in that damn, in those damn cars at that form, man. Ugh, ugh. Man, let me ask y'all a question, man. Have y'all ever had a conversation so funny with a three-year-old? I mean, have y'all ever done it? Oh, there we go. 1981, Bill Skylark. I was only one year old when they made this car right here. 
one years old. But I am taking the tail lights off of him. I am taking the tail lights off. Here we go with the second grand down. I just crushed the blue one yesterday. It was a biohazard. This one right here is just a regular. This one right here is going to be between uh, 93 94, same as the other. Same as the other. They ain't really no different. They all jump cars anyhow. Shit, they didn't really last that long back in the days. They really didn't at all. Ooh, man, I still got a lot of cars, man. A lot of cars, so I gotta switch out between, I gotta switch out in between each customer. So yesterday I did, um, I did, I did my buddy over there on that side yesterday. I did him yesterday, cause his cars are just like, bam, 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 right up in the crush. They just got gas tanks, maybe a wheel or two. So, but now, today, I'm gonna be on this side of the yard today. Then tomorrow, then tomorrow I'll be back on that side of the yard tomorrow. Then I gotta, then I have to wait for, then I have to wait for Mr. Mexico to pull these right here. These two more fours I need. Well, not fours, TCLs. Let me take that back right there. Man, let me take that back. That is the correct definition for a Ford. It is a TCL. That is the correct, correct word for it now. Ain't no more. Oh, this is a four. No, 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 no. This is a goddamn TCL. It's a trash can. It is a trash can. Just like all the rest of them. Just like all the rest of them. I crushed so many dumpster dodges. I crushed so many chitty jevies. Man, I crushed so many. I, I crushed so many nasty Nissans. I crushed so many of them, man. Not even, it's, not, it's not even funny at all. I crush so many. It's not even funny. It's like, how do you crush so many in one day? Easy. Easy. They just come to me. Alright, so this one ain't got no motor. No, actually, no battery. Yeah, so now, so later on this afternoon. When I get done with this load here, I get to spend a whole hour changing filters on my loaders. Changing the hydraulic filters, the oil filter. Well, I'm not going to do the oil filters today. I'm going to do that another day. But I'm going to change the main things, my fuel filters, air filters, cabin filters. So I'm going to do all them today there. I mean, I, I may do a video on it, may not. I don't know yet. I just want to get done with it because it does take time. It does take a little time doing those right there. Maybe. But like I say, man, if you don't take care of it and do the maintenance, man, it gets pretty pricey. It gets pretty pricey on these right here. Man. It is. Burning hot in this damn loader of mine. Now give me a No, the one thing I really love. Whoa, shit. The one thing I really love about my job, y'all, is that man, I get to meet some of the most interesting people ever. Especially the ones that just like to talk and talk and talk and talk and don't know when to shut the up. Like, stop talking, man. Man, I meet so many crazy people, y'all. Man, this is this, this not even funny, man. I done, uh, I done met a chain smoker before. What I mean by chain smoker, where this one dude, man, can't remember where it was, but it was this one guy that I ended up crushing. I was a ground man at that time. So we was, uh, I can't remember where we was at. We was somewhere close to Bowie, I think. It was somewhere close to Bowie, Texas, if I remember correctly. So this dude, he was uh, kind of like a heavy set man. He was a heavy set Caucasian dude. And uh, we was out there crushing him, right? So I'm standing out there with him. So I see this dude follow up a cigarette, right? And before he even puts the 
the second, I mean, not the second, but before he even put the first cigarette out, he done fired up another one. So before he even put that one out, he fired up another one. Y'all, I watched this man sit right here for eight hours. And I watched this man chain smoke 10 cigarettes back to back like ain't nothing happened. I mean like back to back. It's like, huh? It's like, how can you do that, man? How can you just smoke a cigarette back to back to back and, and not even choke? I mean, man, I mean the kind of cigarettes he was smoking too, he was smoking them, uh, 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 them, 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 uh, Benson Hesse. The kind my old man used to smoke. That was his favorite cigarettes. Benson Hesse. Yeah. Leave, man, them some damn me. Them are some heart busting cigarettes right there, man. I mean, man, they'll bust your lungs all the way open. Yeah, so I watched it. I watched that dude, y'all, smoke 10 Benson and Hezzes back to back like ain't nothing happened. Like ain't nothing happened at all. But it is what it is, baby. Y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all give me a six at Let's see, what else do I got over here to crush on? Let's see, we got an old Buick over here and got one last Chevy here. What's the body? Man. Oh my god. Yeah, that 81, man. Man, I sure hate to see that baby right there go, man. Especially if it's a Buick. But her time has already done came. It's already a death certificate for her. It's already been. Her days was already numbered soon as she came up off in here last week. It was already numbered. She knew it and I knew it. Now that baby's sitting like a low rider in the back, ain't it? Ha <laughs> ha! Yep, y'all, she is the last of the last, man. Ah, man. Whew. I don't know, I'm starting to, I don't know, I'm starting to feel a little bit weird. Man. I feel like my blood pressure is on the rise again, boy. Golly. Seems like the older we get, the more frequent doctor visits we got to go to. Oh man, I don't feel like going through all that right there. But gotta keep that self, gotta keep yourself in check, man. Gotta keep yourself in check.